Look at this bow. Nice, man. It's got the feathers on the end. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so, look at us, man. We're looking cool in our iron armor. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to hit the Sunken Crypt, or Crypts, as I did find... After I left you guys in the last episode, another crypt. Uh, in fact, this one's even a little bit closer. Uh, so what I actually have done off camera is I uh, I set up just a little outpost at this crypt, actually on top of the crypt, and I'll show that to you in a little bit, um, with uh, a workbench and a forge to repair my tools. Um, and then this little area here is kind of like a little sandbar that just jots out into water a little bit. And so I figured the the best way to transport the ore, rather than trying to go on foot and, you know, cross that little area of water and whatnot, um, is just to take the ship uh, from the south base to the landing, park the ship. Um, there's there's a, a fairly clear pathway to the crypt uh, through the swamp. You know, do my stuff, repair. When I completely fill up, then I can just take it back, drop off a load in the ship, and then go back and continue doing it until I completely fill up the ship with iron and, and whatever else uh, so that's going to be the plan and then once this crypt is completely cleaned out you know then we'll just tra move to this crypt now i didn't find any more crypts in this swamp but i did get you know this far south and notice that this swamp is actually quite a bit larger than i thought plus you know there's another land um uh, black forest uh, meadow area here too so this island is just enormous and it's just, it's really weird. I still have not, you know, found uh, all the borders of the island. So I don't know how much further this part of the land mass goes. Um, but at some point, we will see if we can figure that out. Now, the other thing that I found, which was kind of cool, is I did find a very small little isolated island of black forest right here. It does have a troll cave on it, but it doesn't have uh, any tombs. And that might be kind of a fun place uh, to, to build a base too. I, I, I mean, I'm not planning on doing that at this point, and it may not at all, but it would be kind of neat to have a base out here, um, you know, just on a small island. Uh, so anyway, before we uh, get started with uh, the crypt and all of that, um, I have in here uh, somewhere, here we go, uh, we have uh, three turnips, and we're going to need some meat, and we're going to make our first thing of of turnip stew here uh, so let's go ahead and do that so it takes one raw meat and three turnips okay and so this food now gives us 50 health and 50 stamina and it lasts for 1600 seconds um, 60 health 40 so yeah so these two last the same amount of time um, this gives a little more health, but a little less stamina, and this is right in the middle. Um, so eventually, you know, the sausages and the turnip stew will be our two main foods. And then, we'll, you know, a third one will probably continue to be carrot soup or whatever else, you know, uh, makes sense. Uh, we get a lot of stamina from the carrot soup, um, and it, but it lasts 1,500 seconds. We get... Uh, we get a little more health from the cooked meat, but it only lasts 1,200 seconds. So we'll figure that out. But anyway, I've got um, I've got turnips, you know, going on in the garden here. So we've got some seed turnips we planted, and I'm just still waiting for uh, these to mature here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick uh, these seeds and replant them before uh, you know we take off. Uh, down to the crypt um, <coughs> excuse me so uh, let's go ahead and do that now and then you know by the time I get back here later hopefully all of these turnips will be uh, mature and then we can start you know still saving half for seeds and whatever um, but then starting to make the actual stew too um, so looking forward to that having the you know better food and whatnot and we still have you know I still have some carrots I've got so many carrots you guys it's just crazy amount of carrots um, so I've turned most of those into carrot stew let's just get that fully repaired uh, I guess we had to repair a bunch of stuff 
Okay, so I'm going to put the cultivator back here for now. We don't need to carry it around with us. Uh, looks like I have a few other items that we need to put away too. Uh, guess I'm... I don't... Tell me in the comments, do I need these ancient seeds for anything else other than if I wanted to refight the the elder boss? Um, which I, I guess I might at some point. I don't know. Just for the hell of it, I guess. But anyway, let me know if I need to keep those ancient seeds for anything else other than the elder boss fight. So in terms of carrot stew, I've got like um, like four full stacks of this stuff uh, and then some extra too. So uh, lots, lots of that. And then I still have a full stack of carrots left over down in this bin as well. So we're, we're doing really good on carrots uh, for the time being. But for now, we're going to have to stick to sausages, um, and I have some extra ones of those too, as you can see, and meat and uh, carrot soup until I can get, you know, enough turnips going to where I can supply myself with this. But I'm going to eat this now. Um, actually, no, let's wait until we get uh, to the swamp, and then I'll eat it there. Um, yeah, okay, that's what we'll do. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Now, um... What my plan is for iron is I think the very first thing I should make is a pick. So that way we have, you know, a better pick, which is going to harvest faster and probably have more durability than the bronze pick in order to continue then mining more iron uh, for everything else that we're going to want to do. So that's kind of my, my plan right now. So let's head on out, jump down into our ship here. Looking, looking forward to getting into the into the Iron Age here. I do have some extra copper, you know, that I've mined up. I'm, I don't know if I'll need to use it too much more later on. I mean, we still need it to make the forge itself, uh, and if we decide, you know, to make some more upgrades. Uh, for those, which of course we will, uh, we might need some some of that stuff for that too. But uh, hopefully, I have enough, you know, copper and bronze and whatever to uh, uh, to handle all that stuff later on. Here, let's pull the sail back up until we get turned around, and then we'll, we'll then we'll release it at that point. Oh, um, one of you guys mentioned in the comments uh, suggested putting spikes on the end of the 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 uh, palisade walls there. Uh, I, I, I looked at that and I decided not to do it. And the reason being is because the very end of the palisade wall is already orange. Um, and so I don't want to, you know, the structural integrity is pretty weak there. So I don't really want to add anything more to it. Um, so far, though, I mean, we've been fine, uh, you know, with, with moms not really being able to get in there. Um, if you guys saw, I think it was the last episode, maybe the episode before that. We had a troll, a couple of different trolls, in fact, and they, they would only go a little ways out into the water and then they would just stop. So for whatever reason, they don't like to go, you know, beyond that point. So I think we're pretty well protected there. I also have not gotten um, a troll or swamp or skeleton attack since I've done the Elder Boss. Now, I, I did get another The Forest is Moving attack, um, you know, which was very easily thwarted uh, from actually it was on my main base because the main base if you recall also has the moat around it too so yeah this is going to be cool we're going to do this crypt um, and get get ourselves some iron looking forward to it I figured that you know using the ship is going to be the best way to do this too because you know the ship has four slots for storage so I can just load it up uh, I, don't, I don't think it has a weight limit I think it's just a slot limit Actually, I guess I don't know that for sure. I guess we'll find out. But I'll just load it up and then, you know, just take it right back across the channel here. It's not that far to sail at all. Okay, let's hop on out here. And deal with this Yahoo. All right, so the ship should stay there. It, uh... It does automatically anchor. Uh, a couple of you were mentioning that in the comments. Um, I have noticed though that that the ship can the ship can drift a little bit. 
uh, but it doesn't seem to drift very far. I suppose if you left it there for a really, really long time and, and several storms went by, it might drift out further, but I mean, you can always swim out to it too, as long as it's not so far out that your stamina can't handle it. So I think we're in good shape. All right, now's the time to take our food. So let's take our turnip stew, our snossages, and uh, I think we'll do the carrots. So look at that, man, that's awesome. That's gonna give us some serious health. Very good. All right, let's kill this guy since he's gonna attack us anyway. Get a little extra meat off of him. Or not. Um, we have, uh, I've, oh, I forgot to tell you, I've made a whole bunch of potions too. So we've got a stack of medium healing, uh, poison resist, and minor stamina. I've also made some frost potions that I'm just sitting on right now. Um, because you will, we'll need those, of course, when we go up to the mountains, which probably will not happen until after we do bone mass. So let's just travel along here till we get to our little setup. I have um, I have just like a little ladder down here. I don't think mobs can jump up onto this. In fact, I don't think mobs can jump at all in this game. So the worst that could happen is you know they would come along here and and hit on it. Uh, but me, of course, I can jump up there. So uh, as you can see, we've got a forge, we've got a workbench. Uh, they're all uh, covered and active. And then we have an extra chest with some wood and other things that we can put in it. Okay. So let's do this. Our very first time in a sunken crypt. I have not, uh, not done a sunken crypt yet. Okay, so let's see what we need to... I have watched somebody else do it, um, so I, I kind of know what to do, but I haven't, you know, actually done it myself. Um, you know, and I've, I've mentioned this before. The one thing that I'm not watching ahead on for this series is the boss fights. I am deliberately avoiding the boss fights uh, so that when I go into them, you know, I'm doing it blind. But I am, I am watching... Um, other people do, oh shit, uh, YouTubes, just because I, you know, I love the game so much and, and I want to, you know, when I'm not playing it, I want to watch somebody else do it. So, um, my, my MO on that is no spoilers for the bosses, but, uh, anything else, you know, I'm just watching and, and enjoying it and not, not worrying too much about it. So that's the deal there in case you're curious. All right. So we have a Draugr in here. Um, and... We're also going to have to deal with the poison blob guys in here, too. Does he really not see me? Okay, well, too bad for him, huh? I don't know if I'm going to mess with yellow mushrooms right now. I've got a lot of yellow mushrooms. Um, oh, look at that. 18 scrap iron right out of the chute and three chains. We need the chains for the, uh, the bellows. Wow, nice find. Awesome. Okay. And that's 18 scrap iron, too. That's really good. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember how many we need for the pick. I want to say it's either 20 or 30, but, um, you know, we'll let's let's get at least a full stack of it because once we get the full stack of 30, it probably will behoove me to go straight back home and and get that iron pick made. So that's the plan. That is the plan, Stan. Um, all right, so I don't see anything else in here. Let's go ahead and head back into this area. Now, if you haven't seen the sunken crypt before, uh, what you have to do is you have to break through these muddy scrap piles, and in doing so, you will get scrap iron, and you'll also get some other things, too. And then it opens up into another room, and typically you have to fight enemies, and then... Uh, you know, and keep moving through the dungeon. But this is basically how you mine iron in Valheim, by mining these muddy scrap piles. Uh, or you find it in the chest like I did. And it does, you know, it seems... It doesn't seem to be super generous either. I mean, I haven't gotten a single piece of iron yet. So when you find a nice little stack of it in the chest, that's like super big bonus there. Do we get any at all? I don't think we... I don't think we've gotten even a single piece of iron out of that whole scrap pile. Kind of sucks.
There we go. We just, we just got one piece of iron. So, you know, it's it's RNG. Is there no monsters in this room at all? Does not appear to be. Okay. All right. Did we get all of it? Yeah. All right. Let's check the chest. Oh, nice. So we got 11 more pieces of iron. So we're getting more iron from the chest than we are from the doggone scrap piles. And this actually gets us a little overweight, too. All right. Well, you know what, you guys? I think... I think I want to go home now that we have a full stack and and make the iron pick and then come back. I think that's what we should do. Um, gosh, dang it, though. That is heavy. So... Whew, there isn't really anything I want to drop. We got 29 ancient bark. You know, that's not hard to get, though. That's You just got to cut down the ancient trees in the swamp. So if we chuck that, that allows us... To, yeah, that, okay, that gives us our weight back. Um, if I can, though... Here, let's do this. Let's, uh... Let's walk back as far as we can until our stamina runs out. Because I can always stash that in our chest. I'm not going to be able to get up the top of here. Okay, so let's... Throw that down for a second. I mean, it, you know, we need that for making a few things. So if we can if we can keep it, then we'll keep it. But what we're going to do is we're just going to stash it in the chest. So let's just temporarily put the iron in there. We'll go back in and grab it. And then uh, that way we have it, for, you know, for later. And we'll, at some point, we'll haul it back. So, um, oh, oh, no, there it is right there. I was going to say, did it disappear? I thought I dropped it in the water, but I guess not. All right, you guys, well, I will meet you back at the base. What I'm going to do is go back to the base. I'm going to smelt up the iron, and then once it's smelted, I will bring you back at that point, and we will um, we'll make the pick. So here, let's split that up. There we go, right at 450. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are back and uh, ready to start making some iron stuff. Um, so, as you can see, I don't, I don't think I uh, mentioned this earlier, but I have two forges and two kilns set up now, as you can see here. And then we're just waiting for, we have four more pieces to smelt there, and two more pieces to smelt there. Okay, so the pick's only 20 iron, I, so that's good, because that gives us 10 more iron that we can, you know, make something else with too. Uh, but before we do that... Let's go ahead and, or, or either that or we could use it to maybe upgrade the pick. That might be the better thing to do at this point. Uh, but anyway, we have, um, here, here's what we now can do. We can make the stone cutter. Uh, we can make the smith's anvil, which is another forge improvement. And uh, the forge tool rack. Uh, so I think that's n all the new stuff for, for crafting. And then in terms of uh, equipment... You can make iron nails, iron scale mail, iron greaves, iron arrowheads, an iron at gear. Uh, we can do a one-handed and a two-handed battle axe. Uh, the two-handed battle axe is appealing, um, but we can also do um, a, a sledgehammer too, I thought. Uh, maybe we're missing something else that we need for that, but I'd kind of like to... In, you know, we're gonna make a, we're gonna try out the one-handed mace, but I'd kind of like to do a sledge too. Why am I not seeing that? We must be missing something. So hopefully something else will unlock uh, for that. Uh, we can do the huntsman's bow, which of course we will definitely do. We can do uh, iron mace, iron pickaxe, which we're gonna do now. A banded shield, which only takes eight iron to make. The and the iron sword. So. Yeah, there must be something else, some other ingredient we're missing to make the the big sledge. But I'd like to I'd like to make that at some point uh, because it's got massive AOE damage. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and make the uh, the bellows. And so to do that, we're gonna need four chains. I went back to the other base. Oh, those are probably in here. Yeah, I went back to the other base and. Um, grab some other chains because I had like three chains back there. Uh, a couple of them I I have received from killing uh, wraiths, so I've killed a couple of wraiths now. 
Uh, I showed that to you guys in the beginning of the last video. It, it was something I wasn't actually recording. I just hit the recorder really quick while it was happening. But uh, so I had a couple chains, and then of course we found those ones in the uh, in the chest. So to make the uh, bellows, which is here. Oh man, that thing's kind of big, isn't it? Uh, I guess we'll put it over here. Yeah, right, right about here-ish. There is where we'll put. It. Oh, we need uh, some deer hide too. So that's going to be in here. So it looks like I can hold it there and there. Yeah, that thing takes up a lot of room, doesn't it? Okay, cool. Uh, so now we have upgraded that. Now we can also... What does it take to make this smith's anvil? That takes 20 iron. Okay. Um, we will do that, of course, but uh, we're not going to do that quite yet. It looks like we can, when we do do it, when we do do it, we'll put it right about here-ish, and it should still reach the... The table but i i want to get the pick first because that's the most important thing so that we can maximize our iron uh mining okay let's go back out here now and grab the remaining iron is that it yeah you're done and you're done okay cool what we're gonna do now is uh grab the iron out of here and what do we need to make pick we're missing something iron pickaxe oh we need three core wood okay so let's put this back in there for a minute we got lots of core wood over here take two and then one more let's put this wood back in there okay here we go Iron pickaxe. Look at us and our bad selves. Saw wheat. Okay, so the iron pickaxe um, does pierce 33. I guess that also means for iron, for mining too, not just combat. So pierce 33 compared to our level 2 bronze pickaxe. I never did upgrade that. Uh, that only does 30. So out of the box, this one's actually better. Plus, you know, durability is 150, durability is 170 on that one. But that's because it's upgraded, probably. Okay, I'm going to keep the bronze pickaxe, too. Um, so that way, when the iron one wears out, if we still have weight capacity, um, I can keep mining with the bronze, too. Okay, so now what do we need to upgrade the iron pickaxe so we need 10 iron and one core wood and we have 10 iron there so let's just do that let's get the the pickaxe as good as we can get it first because it's just going to help us with everything else you know with the rest of the mining like i've mentioned already and we'll worry about armor and weapons and that sort of thing later on uh where in the hell did i have this i guess it was in there okay there we go so now this has a durability of 200. Nice. Wow, that made a big difference. Uh, so it's even better than the bronze. Plus it now has a pierce of 38. Over 30. Excellent. Okay. I think we're ready to go back out and do some more mining. Let's put these chains away. We don't need those for now. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just swap those two. Do we need to bring the hoe with us? I mean, you never know when you're going to need to race some ground or flatten stuff out. So, yeah, we should probably keep it with us. Uh, we'll eat this carrot stew when we get back to the, the forest. Oh, I, I also picked nine more turnips when I was back at the main base. So now we have three more things of turnip stew as well. So we should be in really good shape. Okay, um, let's make sure everything's repaired on this end. And I'll meet you guys back at the sunken crypt, and we'll mine some more iron. All right, guys, we are back at the crypt and ready to continue on. Uh, let's go ahead and go into this room next. Oh, okay, this should tell us where bone mass is located. Oh, my goodness, that's a long ways away. Holy crap. 
Wow. <laughs> I mean, if you think about during this entire playthrough, we've we haven't even been half that distance um, so far. Whoo. Okay, we've got uh, some journeying to do when it comes time to do bone mass. All righty. Well, there you go. I guess the good news about that is it helps us um, uncover. Oh, nice. Fourteen iron helps us uncover more. Withered bone. I believe we need that uh, to do bone mass, if I, if I recall correctly from hearing somebody else talk about it. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, it, it gives us a, a reason to to explore and uncover more of the map, basically. Okay, so let's... Um, usually when I do dungeons like this, I try to always go left, um, you know, when there's new passages, um, just because that you know that helps me kind of remember which direction I went in if I go left sometimes and then I go right sometimes you know then I get lost so um, all right let's get our iron pick out and here we go nice man we finally have a an iron pick and we got it upgraded to level two so far I'll probably end up upgrading this pick all the way as high up as I can get it because I think it'll be you know worth our while to do that in the long run and let's uh, mine some muddy scrap piles and uncover the rest of this dungeon. All right, so it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. I guess we can grab the yellow mushrooms. We can always just put them in the storage crate outside and nab them later or something. So that's it for this wing. Because, uh, yeah, right? It dead, it dead ends here. It doesn't go anymore. Yep, okay. So let's head on back to this room, and then we will go left. Grab the mushrooms. And continue on. Are there any monsters in this room? Oh, no, we've already been in here. Okay, so, yeah, we'll go straight ahead. Let's do it. Okay, so this uh, little branch also dead ends. Uh, I noticed, too, in that scrap pile that we got... Um, oh, there's some right here. There we go. Uh, we actually got some uh, leather scraps out of that deal, too, which is interesting. I should probably go back outside and offload some stuff, because if we're going to be getting additional materials besides just iron, uh, you know, we're going to want room for that. So I'm going to go offload, and then when we come back... See, we've already... Oh, that's... That's the way out, right? Okay, so so we'll hit that one last. So when we come back, we'll we'll bust into this one here. Oh, here's an interesting thing. It looks like we can't repair the iron pickaxe in an unupgraded forge. That's interesting. Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll just use the iron pickaxe till it completely wears out, and then whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll just keep using the bronze one for now, I guess. I suppose I could even upgrade the bronze one, too, if we're going to continue using it for a while, which is my plan. We have plenty of extra copper and tin to do that with, so maybe I'll look at that when we get back uh, to the base. Okay, so we've finished those two wings. Let's go ahead and hit this one next. Looks like we have another piece of muddy scrap pile there. And yeah, let's do it. All right, let's see if there's any enemies in here. Oh, I can't get through. Nope, none in here. Okay, oh nice, 10 more scrap iron, I'll take it. We're getting way more scrap iron from the chest than we are from the muddy piles. In fact, we're not getting hardly any from the money piles, just a little tiny bit. Wow, look at that. Nice. That's probably going to, yeah, I was going to say that's probably going to make us overweight. Okay, cool. Let's, um, uh, let's drop a couple things off back in here. Um, yeah, I'll just drop that off. I'll go put this in the main chest and then come back and get that other stuff and then we'll continue on. Okay, so we have a skelly down here and he See if he tries to hit the ladder. 
No, he doesn't seem to attempt to damage the ladder. I mean, he can hit the building all he wants. That isn't going to do anything. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like we're fairly safe from these guys up here. Ah, uh, okay. Wow. Uh, we are running out of room in this chest now, too, aren't we? Okay, let's put all that stuff in there. I might need to... Well, here, let's make... Let's see if we can make another chest. Maybe, uh... Yeah, let's grab this wood here. Can I squeeze one in here? Oops. Yeah, just like that. Okay, cool. Okay, we'll put the wood back in there. Um, what was I going to say? Can't remember now. Okay, so let's head on back in. Come here, dummy. Okay, so we'll grab this iron and then just continue on uh, until we fill up again. Okay, new room, and it looks like it's dead end, so it doesn't go any further than this. Alrighty. So now what we want to do is go back, oh, I missed a, an ember there, like seven ember, goodness. Uh, the last room to go to is this one here, so let's see what's inside. Okay, nothing in this room. Got another passageway here, though. Alright, <clears throat> nothing in this room, but man, we got three more passageways. Goodness, okay, well, let's go left. I had to take another load back out, too, because um, we found some withered bones, and then with the iron, I was uh, encumbered again. Okay, looks like there's nothing behind here, just uh, a dead-end wall. Okay, let's go this way. We're on the bronze pick now, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. Still seems to be one-shotting. This is also a, a dead end. Okay, I think that's it for that. All right, let's try this side. All right, that's it. This is also a dead end as well. So we have completed this crypt. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, is go back to uh, get everything hauled back to the base, um, get all the iron smelted up, and then when I have everything smelted, I'll bring you guys back, and we'll decide what the next uh, what, what next pieces that we're going to make with the iron. So I'll see you in a bit. Incidentally, this is the uh, total amount of iron that we pulled out of this place, in not including the, 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 the first stack of 30 that we pulled out of here. Um, so, yeah, uh, not a bad haul. All right, guys, we are back and uh, ready to make some more iron pieces. So we have a total of 91 iron uh, that we pulled out of that crypt, uh, not including the first batch of 30. Um, so we actually got uh, 121 in total, uh, which is a pretty good haul, I think, for a single crypt. I, I'm not actually sure. We'll see, you know, as we do more crypts, uh, you know, how that compares. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do, uh, I had originally thought I was going to just totally upgrade my pick all the way first, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to make the stuff that we need and then just, you know, continue to upgrade it as we go along. So let's start with weaponry. Uh, we are definitely going to want, I, I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I've mentioned all along that I want to try the iron mace out. So let's do that first. We're going to need three scraps and four wood. Um, so let's just grab, whoops, let's just grab all of the, the leather because I think we're going to need it. And uh, let's grab half a stack of wood too. Okay, so the mace is, oh, and we need, of course, the iron. So let's grab a stack of iron too. All right, iron mace. Here we go. Let's try it out. 
this will be my first time using a mace in this playthrough, uh, in this game, period. Because uh, we never did make the bronze mace. Okay? So that's going to cause us then to retire um, our... Well, actually, you know, I'm going to retire the app gear, I think. Um, I don't... I'm not sure if I'm going to make an iron axe right now, and we still need an axe for cutting wood. So, we're, I'm pretty sure we're going to make the shield, but let's make actually make it first before I get rid of that. All right, so the mace will go into slot one, and then this is going to be something that... I mean, I'm probably going to carry it all the time because I just don't want to be without an axe out in the field. Okay, the next thing for sure that we're going to make is the huntsman's bow. So we need 10 fine wood and 10 feathers and 20 iron. So, okay, there's some feathers and fine wood we have in here. Oops. And then it said 20 more iron. Okay, so there's the huntsman's bow. And that will, of course, replace the uh, the fine wood bow. Let's compare these two. So this is 42 pierce uh, versus 41 pierce, but this is a level four upgraded fine wood bow. So yeah, uh, def definitely cool. And of course, like I said, we will be upgrading this stuff too as we as we go along. All right, I think the next thing we should probably do is this is the shield, um, and then we'll look at the armor. So for the banded shield, we need 10 fine wood and 8 iron. Okay. And let's make that. And that will take the place of our bronze shield. Let's compare again. I actually never bothered upgrading my bronze buckler. I should have done that, but I just didn't get around to it. Uh, so this has a block power of 45. This has a block power of 60. So quite... A bit of an upgrade there. We'll put that in there. All right, so now let's see where we're at with our iron. So we we have a total of 43 pieces of iron left. Um, I want some kind of two-handed weapon. Uh, we've been using the at gear, but I'm e want, I'm thinking either the the big battle axe or the sledgehammer now i don't know does this battle axe have a like a, a special attack like an aoe kind of attack or not i don't know it does some pretty significant damage um 75 slash dam is just you know out of the box so yeah i'm not sure i think we'll hold off on a big two-handed weapon for the moment and we'll just you know we'll just use our mace as our main weapon all right, let's take a look now at uh, armor. So we, we want to make the scale armor first, so that requires 20 iron and 2 deer hide. Uh, so let's make that. Okay, and then this, our bronze plate a cuirass is, this is, is 10 armor. This one is 14 armor. Okay, so we'll swap those out. We'll put the bronze armor over here. We're running out of space there. Okay, next we want to make the greaves. Okay, and um, so the the bronze leggings were 10 armor. These are also 14. Okay, so we'll put those on. And we're going to have to put uh, these in here. And that leaves us with three iron left. So what we could do with that three iron, because I don't think we can upgrade anything for just three iron. Let's take a look. We're not going to be able to make the iron helmet yet, because I'm sure that takes more than... Uh, yeah, that takes 20 iron. Okay. So what we could do is make some iron nails, uh, which we are going to need for something. And that, if, if we make the iron nails, then, yeah, let's just do it. Then it'll tell us what it unlocks. Okay, Raven Throne Longship. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, I want. I definitely want to do that. 
And then we have two more pieces of iron left, which we could make 40 iron arrowheads if we wanted to do that. Let's, yeah, let's do it. Why the hell not? I still have quite a few flint arrows, but uh, let's make some, let's make some iron arrows. I'm going to put this in here for now. We need a little more wood. There we go. Okay, so let's switch to uh, the iron arrows. We don't actually want those up there in that toolbar. And I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put the flint head arrows in here for now, just because uh, you know to free up the slot. We'll put the hide back in there. And um, we'll put the wood back in here. And I think that's, that's, I think we're good. Maybe what we'll do is we'll, um, maybe we'll put the axe in slot four. And the bow will be in three. Look at this bow. Nice, man. It's got the feathers on the end. That's kind of cool. <laughs> um... Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's all we can make. So that look at us, man, we're looking cool in our iron armor. So I'm what I'm gonna do now, you guys, is I'm gonna let you go, and um, I'm going to here. Let's do this. Let's get rid of this. Uh, this crypt is done, and I'm gonna go hit this crypt. And I'm probably just going to do the whole thing off camera because it's going to, but it pretty much going to be more of the same. One thing I did notice about this crypt, though, is that we didn't have hardly any enemies in there, uh, which I thought was unusual, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I'm going to do this crypt, completely mine it out, get all the iron I can from it, come back to the base, get that smelted. And then once I get um, that done, then I'll start the next episode and we'll continue uh, to work on. Uh, upgrades and making a few more iron pieces okay guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you have thank you very much um and uh yeah we'll catch you in the next one Bye bye